I'm in Dynamics 365 here and I've got my mobile phone shared um, and what I can see here is the workspaces that I've published here and I've got one called customers for example and it's simply got a list of sales orders um, so that's fine let's create another one in this case a list of customers but let's also add an action to it so that we can actually create a new customer from the mobile device so let's just move my phone out of the way um, first thing is that I'm going to go into Dynamics 365 and I've already added the mobile menu here so you need to add this in there um, and refresh and access first then I'm going to go to the mobile app and these are my workspaces that I've created just uh, simple ones in this example just to get started with a few that are published so I'm going to go into my customers one so I'll, I'll hit edit and so I don't have a page here I just had my sales page so let's create a new one we'll call it customers um, something fairly simple but just to go through the process here so it's customers so the first thing is I'm going to create the list so it'll be sales order process inquiry workspace I'm going to go to all customers and now that I'm here I'm going to go and select my fields so I'm just going to have like account number uh, name customer group it's a currency telephone number so a simple contact list for example so if I say done and back and done for example and save then um, yep I'm going to update my existing one now if I bring my phone back in and I do a refresh so if I go to the customers and let's get it to refresh and let's get it to refresh there we go so it just took a little while to refresh and so now I've got an additional one which is customers so I can click on that and I'll get a list of customers that are in the system so that's fine that's a list now let's have a look at creating an action so uh, let's go back into our mobile workspace and you'll see that we have a tab here which is actions so if I click on actions um, it says we don't find anything because I haven't created an action so I'm going to create a new one here called create uh, customer and create customer I'll just call it the same alright so we'll say done okay so now it's telling me to select fields but what I'm going to do in this case is go new customer and I'm going to go through the process so let's create a new one x seven uh, five for example and name x seven five and I didn't hit the select field so let's try that again so select fields I'm going to hit new that looks a little better so AX875 alright so now as we put them in you'll see that we get the field added here so AX875 I'm going to pick my customer group uh, 10 for example alright then I can put in a zip code and street for example so what I'm going to do is that's really all the basic information that I'm going to add obviously we can build something more complex so I'm simply going to hit save and then it'll give me a message about the uh, operation so I'm going to hit close and then these are essentially the fields that I need to enter a new customer so I'm going to hit back and you'll see that I've got an action now which is create customer and I'm going to say done and I'm going to hit save and it's going to ask me to override again so I'm going to say yes alright so now let's bring the phone back over and I'm going to do the refresh again so now if I hit on customers and let's try to refresh it I'll take a sec to refresh here alright so now it's refreshed so what we'll see down the bottom 
is that we see a new tab called action so if I touch on that I'm going to get a new action which is in this case called create customer because that's what I called it so I'm going to click on that and then the fields that I've selected are the fields that I'm going to enter so let's create it here and we can put in a postcode Alright, so fairly simple. So I'm simply going to say done and it's going to synchronize my change uh, into the system. So we call it Z100. If we go and have a look at our customer list, um, yeah, back in Dynamics, so we'll say Z100. Um, then what I'll see in Dynamics is Z100. So it's gone from the mobile device, it's synchronized to backup. So and now we'll also see if I look at the list of customers if I search for my Z100 uh, we'll say done search then what I'll see is the customer return there with the basic information that I picked uh, from the list so that's a really quick example of creating an action. Um, you can create them and add them to any of the pages that you created um, so that you can create uh, records in Dynamics. Um, now there's obviously complications in some types of data in terms of the um, related data that you might need to enter. So this is a fairly simple one in terms of customers. Um, it's gone in the system, um, but you can experiment with different areas because it's a generic feature. It'll work uh, for most data pretty much anywhere in the application to get you the basic uh, details that you want to enter from the mobile device.